Hey yo, welcome back everybody to Book. Put a little emphasis in there so the you know the little intro thing that comes up goes along better with it. But yeah, we are back. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. So if I sound tired, now you know it. For all those people that are always like, why do you sound so upset and bored and tired? Probably because I just woke up. I've explained this before. I don't need to explain it again, but I did anyways. But yeah, we're back. Uh, we're going to clap cheeks this episode, I hope. I'm trying to get a new armor set. But uh, I don't know which armor set. We can either get the Victide armor set from Calamity. Or we could go for the You Wood armor set, which means we have to take on a goblin event. I don't know how strong I am. We have 261 gel. That's not really enough to use a flamethrower. Somebody said... Use more heart crystals. I don't think you have full health or something like that. Okay. There you go. There, there's your answer to that. Uh, I don't know why they asked that. They didn't watch the video and they're doubting me having full health. Demonite Leech Ring. Some magical circle around the player killing enemy in the circle restores 5% of health, 10% increased mana. Maximum amount of health. Why the fuck would I want that? Sounds pretty cool though. But yeah. Losing the scarf, and I was told to make some certain weapons here, so that's what we're gonna do is make some certain weapons. Starting with a sand sprayer. Fuck, wait, don't we need a certain like element? What are they called? Soul? I don't, I don't know what it's called. Desert? <laughs> Desert essence. Don't we need a anvil or some shit? We need something specific. I don't know how to craft it. Elemental forge. Okay, let's see how easy that is to craft. Probably not. Uh, what does it look like? Which one of these things looks like a forge? This. Okay, it's not that bad. I could, I could do that. So furnace. No problem. So, yeah, I probably have the other stuff. Cloud, ice, ebonstone, buckets of water. So let's get buckets. And then we have ice. We don't have cloud. We don't have ebonstone. Torches. There you go. Uh, everything else should be good, I think. So we're gonna get. Oh fuck! Hold up. Let me get uh some gravitation potions. I don't think I have any in there. There's got to be some in here, cause like a smart boy, I keep them. Just one. Oh god. It's all good. It's all good. We'll, we'll find an island. Let's do it though. This is where I'm hoping to find our water too, because uh, I'm kind of lazy to go walk far to get water. Well, there's that water to the right of us, but like that's the gnome water. I don't want to. I don't want to take their gnome water where they get to live off of. Well, I haven't seen a single gnome, so we don't even live there. But uh, Ebonstone will just blow up. We probably should break a crystal, like one or two of them, just so we can get a goblin to spawn or goblin invasion to have a chance to spawn in so if i want the you wood armor we can get it because that is the earliest range thorium armor i think it is and then we can get wolfram armor but i think the current armor i'm wearing is better so i think i'd rather get victide if we do get the armor from calamity because victide isn't too hard to make but i don't know i don't think victide's as good as you would i didn't really compare them but I would assume a post-goblin armor set would be better than a pre-goblin armor set. Are we just not going to find anything? I'm just going to waste this thing. What the fuck? How have I not found anything? I'm not going too high either. I'm not going too high. I'm not going too... There's no fucking way I'm going too low. I'll tell you that right now. But I'm not going too high. It's a small world. So, some of you might ask, like, Gamers, how come you're not using the latest Calamity version with the globes? I don't know. Whatever the hell they're called. Planetoids. The g that shit crashes, crashes my game. It breaks my Terraria, that latest Calamity update. My Terraria specifically. I don't know why. And I could have went through the work of figuring out. And I tried. I tried for, like, a couple hours. To Are you kidding me? I tried for a couple hours. Like, one. Maybe one and a half hours. I tried to figure out the problem, testing out a bunch of stuff, and I disabled a bunch of mods, 
left calamity on okay and it worked fine <clears throat> like calamity well actually that's i think a lie because i don't think i ever loaded a world with the planet toids there was just a bunch of bugs and it was pretty much every time i enabled calamity the game would crash the planet toid calamity version and i don't know why and the only other reason i can think to fix it is completely reinstalling everything and i, I didn't really feel like doing that it ain't worth it just for some fucking planets and probably a couple new sprites i don't know not worth it in my opinion can i make a rocket i can thank you bless up we need this because i don't feel like walking back down uh wait hold up let me get a uh, ropes ropes for the boys Boop. what is that blood droplet that's a lot of blood droplets i don't know what those do okay i gotta kill like every single slime i see just so we can get that uh wait a minute oh okay <laughs> i don't know why i jumped there that almost screwed me just so we can get that uh flamethrower ammo i definitely want to use the flamethrower let's get these clouds over here actually can i do that and then we're gonna get the water from up here so no water leaks down to our beautiful world no excess water probably should get some rain clouds on up here and i think i will i'll get that one to the left of us but for now let's get these clouds might as well get all of them i do need to kill some harpies oh let's do a test here so the crying seems to just slow down enemies it's really hard for them to move and i don't know if that's worth it i think we might just go for the pincer because poison damage is always good like health over time is always a good thing it may not seem like a good thing on the initial hit but it's over time so it's gonna definitely do a lot of damage eventually just gotta give it that time and that versus just slowing down an enemy i think is is a really good trade so we're gonna stick with it let's uh let's make like five of these then do this okay probably more than five where's that at halfway shit make six that has to make it to the bottom no way what these things i'm like thinking these things are longer than they actually are there we go good enough i see you i gotta kill you i gotta kill you okay so back home now we need evanstone no problem i can be there real quick i think i'm faster on foot actually i can't tell it feels the same <laughs> all right let's grab this evanstone and make this beauty this beauty that's bad i didn't think i would dash past it well shit might as well since we're here go ahead and uh fucking kill myself go ahead and uh grab the altar not altar grab the uh but it's these Go ahead and grab the uh, d d d d d demon to break the shit. There you go. I got it. Got it that time. What's down there? There's a hive, sis. Don't blow that up. Just don't do it. <laughs> I don't think the bombs do enough damage to blow it up quickly. So we are we're fine. Oh, man. That sneeze, dude. I can't breathe right now. Clog my nose. Okay. Right there. Should open it up. What a bitch. Oh, don't, don't kill anything. Musket, I'll take it. I will take that beautiful item. We're gonna... We're gonna open this one. I don't know if we'll fight the Edo world. Maybe we will this episode. We'll see. I, I, the plan I have this episode is Desert Scourge. Make those desert weapons to kill the Desert Scourge with. That's, that's the plan right now. And... Hopefully we succeed in part one before we do part two. Okay, perfect. Well, vile thorns. This used for anything? We're gonna see. Nothing that I could use, so I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sell it. Where's the merchant? Isn't his house right here? Why is he always on this left side? I always notice he's always over there. Musket, sure. Uh, what can I make? Plasma rifles. <laughs> Okay. Heat blaster. 
interesting. Leticia, interesting. We got some interest, interesting weaponry we can make. All right, let's go ahead. We'll hold on to that. Go ahead, deposit it. Boom. And then, can we make it? Or am I missing stuff still? I'm probably still missing stuff. It's fine. It ain't a lot of stuff if we're missing it. So, got the torches, got the sand. We just need the furnace. Okay, sweet. I think I have an extra furnace over here somewhere. Yes, I do. Don't know where I got this furnace from, but it's good that I have it. Because that is, that is more. That is useful. I don't know what I was about to say more with. Elemental Forge. Boom. Now we can make the sand items. Let me just pull out the desert essence is that what it's called it is desert essence okay so we want to make i think everyone said desert eagle and sand sprayer i know a couple people said sand shot well we're gonna go with the sand spray and the desert eagle because i think that's what got voted the most i'm gonna do us a favor for the future way like this deep in the future you guys know why i'm catching these guys uh, this is a detriment right here that will help so much later on <laughs> like i'll say like 50 episodes from now that will help out okay so back to what i was doing um sand sprayer okay it's not called the sand sprayer uh sprayer okay it is called the sand sprayer i just don't have the equipment needed shit i don't have a sand gun uh let's make some boxing it isn't I'm trying to do boxinators, you know, horizontal, but like, I don't know, I don't know how they place. <laughs> the, oh fuck! Yeah, how the hell? Right here, dude. <laughs> I was way off. Okay, I'll get it this time though. Uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> A meteorite has landed. That is right. I prematurely prematurely started this clip to say that because that's kind of important i don't know not really uh let's put this in here why are you moving in my boy we, we i needed the space for the gun merchant some people are afraid of, i don't care uh lost in the sea one day our crew was crossing the sea we got into a dreadful storm we lost a lot of people please try fishing out of the ocean this dude got me fishing is that on the quest? It is. Ugh. I am low key tired of fishing. We'll say hiking. I'm high key tired of fishing, and uh, you might know why. We, if you don't know why, we spent a whole series doing it. Oh my god, look at all these fireflies. Um, what was I doing? Desert Scourge. And I was also trying to make some iron skin. Boom. And then iron skin. Let's make two, I guess. Uh, we have this, so there's a chance for us to not even use the potion. So that's nice. And they'll make two of these. Boom. We're out of day bloom. There's a lot of fireflies. How much money do I get for selling y'all? We about to figure out. I think it's only a couple silver. You know, a couple silver is better than no silver. Uh, ooh, I always forget that I still take fall damage. I don't have wings. Okay. You. Take my fireflies. 24 silver. It's not bad. I guess I can buy something with that. <laughs> we can put these in our inventory, but yeah, we got everything we need. I think I don't know. Should I use gel this fight? Probably. Honestly, what other things do you use gel for? Not too much. Not too much. Let's just take a look at other important gel uses. Hmm. There's not a lot. The darts, I guess. Steam crown, but that's we won't be finding that until hard mode. This, I guess. I mean, we can make it back by then. We'll definitely have Fargo's Mutant at some point in time. Wait a minute. Someone's an old buddy from Old Remove Mod. Wait, what is that? I, I kind of want to fight that. <laughs> the heck? I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to look up. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot what I was going to look up. Okay, now I remember. This banner right here. We're going to break it down. get more gel beautiful beautiful what a strategy let's make that the gelatin thing then since we just did that let's take a hundred and we'll make that 
gelatin thing. Gelat gelatin blob. I don't know why. I, re I really wanted to say gelatin. But yeah, can we fight Desert Scourge during the nighttime? I don't remember. Don't take fall damage. Oh my god. Now you can just, yeah, you can fight him whenever. Sweet, it's about to be daytime anyways, I think. So we are fine either way. So we're gonna use a flamethrower because he is a enemy with multiple body parts. So it would be smart to take him on with a piercing weapon. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna fuck him up with a piercing weapon. Okay. Bugger off. Let's get him out of here. Am I hitting him? Wait, is it even close? It's not close to being daytime. What the heck? It's not even mid midnight. All right, buff up that thing. Let's do it. This is a revengeance too. Uh, where's the big one? Okay. And then flamethrower. Okay, I can't reach him. <laughs> Wait, you're not it. Come up here. Yeah. Flamethrower. I don't really think this is piercing him all too much. I mean, we're not doing bad damage, though. Ooh, that's not damage I'm going to be taking right now. Okay, yeah, this gun ain't too bad because it's using a lot less ammo than I thought it would. No, I keep switching to that gun. That gun, the snowball gun is kind of ass. Its damage is really weak. It's not ass. It's just weak. We're already, like, out leveling up. Why do I have a thing following me around? You see that? There's a lot of bag following me around. No, it is daytime. What the fuck? Am I tripping? I think I was tripping the whole time. Kill him with a flamethrower. God is ass. You call that revengeance? Come on, bro. Now I gotta play on death mode next year. Which we might do, because we are gonna be playing as an extremely strong character. We got these frostburn darts. Oh my god, look at that. That's a beauty. That is a beauty right there. Come on, show yourself. Come on. Like a fucking dog. Okay. Dead. We got this. We're gonna use it. Wait a minute, it's not a boss. God damn it, I thought it was a boss. Because I plan to fight the Desert Scourge and we used our potion on the Desert Scourge, nothing else. It's fine. I planned that. Okay. Open that up. Uh ooh. Isn't this the revenge drop? That shit's pretty good. It's a good weapon. Wait, did I ever get your quest? Let me get your quest. I see you. Fuck, it's not nighttime anymore. Can I sell stuff to this guy? I can indeed. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to go with making Victide armor. Because it might be the easier set to make. Victide. Boom. Made 10. Hopefully that's enough. Because I know these things require a small amount to make. Let's compare. Five defense. Five defense. <laughs> it grants five defense if there's slimes nearby. Uh, that's probably really good to fight the slime boss, slime king with. And then which one's the range set? This one. You just get 5% increased range damage, that's it. Four and three. That has four, and this has four. Okay. <laughs> so far, it ain't looking like a good comparison. We might just uh, skip it. But there's other stuff we could do with Victide. For example, we can make that gun. Look at that. Boom. We just need area light and storm line mandible. Um I don't remember how you get aerial light. I think I need to beat a certain boss to get it. So uh, that kind of there goes that. There's I don't have too many options now. I guess we'll fight. We'll get our we'll get our uh gel back. And then we'll go fight the uh, Eater of Worlds. 10% increase arrow damage. Oh, this is probably <gasps> Dominique, my man! What is up? No homo though when I said my man. Buckshot. Flintlock pistol. Let's go. That's a cop. And be like, gamers, why are you copping that? So we can make the Desert Eagle. There's also the you handled flintlock. My foot fell asleep. Little buddy. What is that? Bouncing blue bolt. What is that one? Opal striker. St striker. Uh, we're going to make the thing that I was going to make. We're going to get rid of the snowball gun. I'm sorry. As much as I love it, it's got to go. But yeah, let's make this desert eagle. Okay, still can't make it. What am I missing now? Sand. I'm missing sand. Okay. All right, let's do it. We're going to take on the eater of men. That sounds weird. 
All right, boom, buff up. We got dark hearts, multiple, and we got two fan letters. Shout out to the boys. You now open that P.O. box. They've been sending me letters. Why am I using this? Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, this thing actually pierces. My arrow actually pierces. Should probably buff. I think I buffed already, actually. But we're going to use the flamethrower. Okay, maybe the flamethrower is not. Okay, okay. I have no idea what's going on. I'm almost... What the fuck just happened? Uh-oh, mini boss alert. You gonna get clapped by that deagle? Oh shit, I didn't think he would get unstuck so quickly. Deagle him. I don't have a lot of ammo to be shooting at you, man. Make this easy for me. Okay, so deagle's just a piss, obviously. Uh, there's nothing really to it. Steven got the same noise. It's kind of upsetting. No, nope. you never hear... I don't know how hard it is. That beep in the back. I don't know how hard it is to make your own terraria noises and sound effects, but uh, you never hear too much variation when it comes to noises. I think this is a new noise of this bamboo shoot. I don't know. I feel like there could be more creativity behind noises. You know what I'm saying? I can make the noise. You just gotta commission me for free. So it's not really like commission. You just gotta ask me, and I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll just I'll start making fucking noises. You want a pistol noise? Put that in audacity, you know, put a little bass on it, change up the sound a little bit. That shit would sound like a rocket shooting. Cause that's what a deagle should sound like. It's a goddamn weapon of destruction is what a deagle is. That shit be blowing up cars. Okay, so Leader Worlds obviously ain't playing no games. And me as a Terraria pro gamer, I'm not playing games either. So we got the sand shot here. And we got the Jester arrows. So, uh, you tell me who's gonna win this next fight. Probably him. But, let's be a little bit optimistic. A little bit. There is a chance that we win. I don't know how, how much of a chance, but there is one. Let me sell those boots. Um, please don't attack me, sir. He's gonna come right in here. I'm ready for him. As you can see, there's a good bit of weapons you can make with, uh, illegal gun parts. Books, fucking bullet hell needs illegal gun parts. And obviously all that stuff. We have the Stone of Evil. Don't have any of those. Uh, but yeah. Where the hell is it? This. No. Pill popper. No. Where the fuck is it? What does it look like? <laughs> sand. It's made out of sand. Is it me or do none of these look like they're made out of sand? Am I tripping? Oh, you need the sand gun. I thought it was just illegal gun parts. I didn't know it was the whole gun. Alright, no problem, because that's easy to make. I think, yeah, that's easy to make. Alright, make the sand gun, then. Don't come in here. He's going to come in here when I'm not swinging my weapon. Don't have enough mandibles? Alright, you know what? We'll do it, do it next time. But let's go try this again. I had to make a visit to the other uh, corruption, because there wasn't enough orbs to summon him in. But uh, we got the potions this time. I was able to find a day bloom. Not a day bloom. Two day blooms. Uh, we really need to get more NPC houses. But I'm trying to change up what they look like. I'm tired of the same old towers into the sky. Trump towers. Because I don't like Trump. Fuck them. So we're trying to do something else. We're trying to do uh, horizontal towers. It's not really a tower. We're trying to go horizontal. And add some creativity. Walk into that bomb. Damn. So this flamethrower kind of sucks against the Eater World. I thought it would pierce more. I was thinking that it was like a, you know, flamethrower that you hold down, like, you know, the, the, how regular flamethrowers work. But well, it's an early game flamethrower, so it's not going to be as OP as late game ones, obviously. So, uh, just don't worry about it for now. Don't worry about it. Look, is that a cyst? Wow, how beautiful. Has anyone ever looked at a cyst and, like, went, wow, oh, that's beautiful? No, never. That's why you should subscribe to me, because it's the only time you're ever going to hear that phrase. Alright. You said you wanted to play games, man. And I feel sorry for you. You said that you wanted to, you know... Well, I wanted to play games, and you wanted to go try hard. And uh, I'm sorry that it's going to go down this way. You fucking hurt! Oh my god! <laughs> Don't hit me. Oh god. This bitch hurts. This bitch hurts no giga. Get it? Like gigahertz? No, that was a bad joke. 
probably gonna cut that out. I'm gonna mute that part of the audio. All right, we're doing okay. I've definitely done better. Oh, we ran out of arrows. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> Never good to run out of arrows in the middle of a fucking boss that needs to be pierced. We could have died right there if I got stuck on him. He's almost dead. I what? I did not hit a single part of that smaller piece. I can't see anything. He shoots fucking cursed flame balls. Let's start swinging. Walk into a bitch. Okay, I'm fooling around. I need to stop. <laughs> I almost died. Okay, that was a lot tougher. Revengeance definitely made that harder. He was he was doing some damage in revengeance. So uh, we know he's not to be fooled around with. I don't think I was honestly prepared enough. I could have been prepared a little bit better. But uh, we got him. Some matters. He's dead. Done deal. Don't remove my spawn point ever again. Give me that corrupt pommel. I hold on to it. I don't think it's useful for me. But I hold on to it. Okay. Uh, you. You may take this. I will auto trash those. I don't think they'll spawn more than once, actually. Amulet piece. Another into yours quest. Uh, Deranged Volathorn, we don't need that. The Eater! <laughs> it's like the Piranha gun. Uh, I like that. I'll hold on to that, definitely. I really like these ammo boxes that drop. That's really cool. <laughs> Hellfire? Sure, might as well use it. We just got it. From the ammo box, I don't, I don't see no reason not to use it. Alright, cool. Everything else we'll hold on to. Stop saying alright, cool. There's so many fireflies! Y'all asking for me to catch you. I don't benefit. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to catch the guide. I'm sorry, guide. I don't benefit too much from catching them, but I could pretty, I can nearly make a gold if I catch a bunch. Like, if we're being honest here, if I catch the right amount. Oh, my God. There's so many. If I catch the right amount, we could easily make a stack. A stack. A rack. What's a rack in Terraria? That's not like a thousand. A rack in Terraria would be like a platinum. Okay, a gold. No, that seems like... I feel like a gold in Terraria, that's like $100. So yeah, a rack would be a platinum. Okay, let's sell this and see what we get. Stop talking about stupid shit. Hey man, what's up? Give me a... Oh, hold on, let's get this guy back. Hey, what's up? Hey, Ryan's in the game. Look at that. My boy Smithis99. We made uh, 72. That's not bad. Put that in there. Because I still don't have the quest for those. But uh, we got a new gun. The Eater. Can't see my head because I don't have a face cam. But I was doing something really stupid. Uh, let's go ahead and deposit. Boom. Nothing else fits. I'll figure it out. Uh, actually, we can upgrade it. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. I obviously got to test this real quick. Oh, wait. I was supposed to make the sand shooter. It is pretty much the Piranha gun. Just a weaker variant. Uh... I'll make the sand gun next episode. We made the deagle and we made the sand shot, which I wasn't even going to make. But I made it because the Eater World said he wanted to play games. No, why do I keep saying it? Eater World was going try hard. I was over here trying to, I was over here trying to fiddle the diddle and he was like trying to fuckle the f suckle. 